Hi, this is Doug Upstone from Doc Sports, and today is September the 4th, a Wednesday, and we have a pair of free MLB plays coming your way here very shortly. Hey, you know what? Football, the NFL in particular, but college football too. Get the NFL started, college football week two. How would you like $60 of free picks? Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Go to DocSports.com. Check it out right now. You can sign up and get $60 of free picks and uh, to, get, to get your football season started. Hey, nothing better than the word free, so take full advantage of it. And you can also get your free picks from me. That's right. Yeah, $60 worth of my premium picks that I'll be re releasing this upcoming weekend for football. So make sure that you check that out at DocSports.com. Now, hey, I'm coming off on free picks. I'm coming off a 6-3 and three week, so did extremely well uh, on the college football scene for the free picks. Uh, that takes our record to 108 and 78 on the freebies. So we just keep rolling right along with those. So uh, now today also you can check out the full article that I have written, and I'm going to take a couple of the free picks from it, a full article though relating to also college football. And what I do is I cover some of the earlier line moves in the week, go through them, give you some reasons as to what's going to happen, and then on Friday I'll come back and update all those games plus add some new games for free picks that are based on line moves and see where we are, okay, just overall. So you'll have a ton of free picks on Friday, but if you want to just go through and read the some of the information about where these line moves what, that are taking place, you can go right to my uh, Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. Check it all out right there. It'll be up today, I'm guessing, probably about, uh, well, let's see, it's a little after noon my time, so I'm going to say 3.30ish. Eastern time, so check that out right there. All right, let's get to some free play action. The Philadelphia Phillies are at Cincinnati. Now, the Phillies remain in the wild card chase uh, in the National League, and they're trailing the Chicago Cubs by two games in the lost column. Now, those making MLB picks don't think that Philadelphia is going to lose any ground tonight as they have gone from a minus 120 favorite up to minus, or uh, say 140. Sportsbooks are, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there about that. The situation certainly does favor the visitor in this one because they're averaging six, point, uh, six runs a game in their last seven outings, and they're going to be going up against Trevor Bauer of Cincinnati. Whew, who's had a rough go since putting on the red uniform. He's 1-4 with an ERA of 8-4-0. Not going to get it done there. Plus, Cincinnati's offense has gone very quiet of late, down to 3.1 run, 3 runs per game in their last seven games. And they're going to go up against Aaron Anola. Uh, so that's not going to be an easy task for them at all. Here's one other thing you should know. That's a kind of the clincher, if you will, for this game. Nola and the Phils, they're 13 and 2 when the total is 8.5 to 10 this season. Let's take Philadelphia to get the job done. Next up, also in the National League, we've got the Colorado Rockies at the Los Angeles Dodgers. These, now, these NL West rivals, uh, they have split the total the first two games. The first was an over, the second was an under last night. Um, in this one, the position taken by sports bettors is the over, as they have taken the total from nine to nine and a half. Now, Rue is going to be pitching for the Dodgers tonight, and he's had a fantastic season. But in his last three games, he has been hit hard. And his ERA has gone from 1 point, uh, I think it was 1.55 to 2.45. Now, 2.45, nobody's going to complain about that. And the, you know, and the lower ERA, well, that pr probably wasn't going to hold up all season long anyways. Still, he's given up 18 runs in his last 14 and two-thirds innings. Little cause for concern. Uh, Antonio Sensatella, he's had a rugged year. Okay, uh, eight and nine, not horrible, but an ERA is now up to six nine five. And why is that? Because his ERA is over twenty in his last three starts. Twenty, yeah, that's crazy. Now, when reviewing the trends in all these teams, the thing that you see is that the it all favors lower score. But you know what? I can't trust either one of these starters right now, and I'm going to agree with where the public is on this one and take the over for a free pick on this one. So I will be back tomorrow with more free picks. Uh, might even have something on the Packers-Bear game. Don't know. Have to see what the line move is on that particular game, and we'll adjust from there. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. I will return tomorrow. Until then, I'm out.